all right hey guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to level up to light right be, light bearer rank really really quickly in arcan legend so firstly i'm gonna show you how to um get to the chancel of light town to get there you need to be at least level 54 you need to come to um Come to this uh, town talk to this guy and he will say to cross your arms across your chest and balance guide you and he's telling to you telling you to find uh emphasis uh, at the stoic man not sure if i spelled that correctly but this guy can be found right in this corner his emphasis the doorkeeper cross your arms around chest and say balance guide you and he will say thank you it will immediately tell you um teleport you to this place if you're below level 40 uh, that guy won't talk to you so you won't be um, able to come when you come here for the first time you can pick up quest and it will tell you to become an um, acolyte um, as you can see these are the these are the orders outsider apprentice acolyte advocate discipline light bearer light bearer elite and then dark acolyte or luminous temporary when the press first came out we only got this rank like over time and there were stages to complete like community goals uh, to do like killing two hundred and fifty thousand uh, graveyard bosses which is um it took a really really long time but it was a group effort and we did do it so here when you come you basically need to go and kill mobs to kill mobs in this map to get to get to the deeper level of mausoleum there are six levels i'm just coming in to show you how it works so here as you can see there are uh there are mobs here and they're pretty hard i'm actually not wearing any gear that's why they were able to kill me so easily just go here i don't have very good gear on this because i don't really play warrior i used to play warrior when i first began but i haven't played it in years but basically getting points takes um ages sometimes even over i don't know 100 50 to 100 hours to get to um to get to the light bearer rank so i'm gonna show you uh, how much points is needed and uh, how is the best way so basically you want to go to auction and you want to buy uh, red eggs and what this will allow you to do uh, i read we might be able to find some yes yeah, so as you can see there are red eggs when you buy this and open this you have a chance to get 5000 light bearer order rank points and this is basically how you have the best chance of leveling up really really fast so you can start farming this map and get a lot of um, gold you can also buy the tokens uh, buy those um, points here but you will need another character who is already a light bearer um, to be able to get this so requirement player is light bearer elite rank on spook for balance light bearer and community four stage has rich so on my other character which i actually did uh, farm uh, the points for myself so if we go here to my uh, main character I didn't open the eggs this was a long time ago so I did actually run that map to get all of the points and I am able to buy them I'll quickly show you guys but because I but it's I still cheaper just to get the red eggs so as you can see I'm a luminous templar I think for warrior I'm gonna go for a dark um, acolyte um, just because to have something different so i've got 5000 i'm an apprentice if i open 5k actually sorry uh, also being 
the higher ranks you'll be able to get uh, access to stash and auction fortunately i don't have access to that because i'm not the appropriate um rank to be able to use it so i have to get out of there and find myself in other town to go to my stash and collect this i have 21 i will unstash all of them and if i don't end up using it i'll just put them back but i can be asked to do the maths to see how many i i really uh, need so here we go we'll go back here i'm gonna open one at a time so you can see the changes and what it looks like open chest and acolyte tier reached so as you can see um before it was 5k now i've got uh, 10k i'm gonna go back to this lady and turn then she will tell me to become and uh, also a higher ranks unlock uh, more quest in this area so now i have to become advocate i think advocate is like 16k so um i can get there really really quickly as well yeah what uh, okay i'm still acolyte uh, rank i don't know why it shows that twice i'm gonna use one of this i do have um one of this so i'm gonna open one so i don't have to go there yeah so advocate is like about 16 to 20k 16 to 18k and i have become an um go here and then I have to become a uh, discipline is at 32k. So, oh, okay, it's about 30k. So you can become a uh, discipline as well really, really quickly. And then go again. Uh, so I'm still disciplined. This, this stage takes the longest. So I become a, a light bearer. And basically, that means I can enter all of the Muslim ranks from one to uh, six. Now I can actually um, I can actually keep playing. So as you can see, now I get access to stash, and I can put this away into the stash. And I'm gonna use those on my mage next. I am not uh, fully leveled in this um, character, as you can see I'm only level 63, it's because leveling got too hard after 66 and I kind of um, gave up. Uh, I've already become a, a light bearer so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So here, achievement earned, studying the horde, I'm getting uh, lots of new quests which I'm probably not gonna be doing. There is so many quests. This is supposed to take ages to do. I don't, but you know, because I've got those um, tokens, I don't really. Yeah, going, keep going. See if there is any quest. If not, I can probably. I'm not sure if I've unlocked this. Yeah, I have unlocked it, so I don't need to go there. But pretty much, um, your once you're light bearer. You can you can you have full access to everything Muslim appears. The rest of the rank you can unlock is light bearer elite. I think you need about a hundred thousand points to get to light bearer elite. Then you have to do a, a quest to become either a dark acolyte or luminous templar, which I'm not gonna do at this point just because um I don't really um, need to do that. I'm gonna go here. This is more of just for you know, in case I do need it, I don't think I will ever actually um be using this because I like farming as a rogue a lot more. But it can be if I would do want a gameplay option, I have this opportunity later on in the future. For my other character, my um, mage, I'm gonna go here. Uh, my mage is, he should be enough level to um, get here. 
I've never actually used my mage at all to farm this, I think. So it'll be quite brand new as well. I did come here before, but I didn't really pick up any of the quests. As you can see, I've only got, got like 20 kills. So each point is worth uh, 20, 20 points. I'm going to open this as well so you can see what it looks like. Actually, Oh, uh, yeah, my bad. I forgot that I have to go back out of town to actually get the points and collect the points and then go back. I'm using this for all of my three characters, so pretty much everyone has some sort of um, points. Uh, out of all of the characters, I least enjoy the gameplay just because I don't like staying. It just, yeah, I just don't enjoy the gameplay. I think Mage is too easy and um, too boring for me to um, play it. So we'll go here, we have this. And we might have to just open all of this. Why do I have so many? I'm just gonna open this one by one. Five. And I get apprentice um, title. Nice, and then become an acolyte. Go back here, all the way down. It does take a while. Sorry about this, but it can be helped. Um, this is the. So I became an apprentice. Next, I have to become. Okay, why bother? Become an advocate. Go back. I don't know what happens if I just. I would get the completion even if I did this before, but I do wanna, uh, you know, go one by one. Okay, oh my god, why? Sorry, that was not bad. I'll actually skip and just open all of this at once. And whatever happens, happens. Um, do it all over again. Yeah, so fifty five k. Yeah, I have become a um light bearer as well immediately. I can use this to farm Muslim as well. Um, I should let you know that being a farming in. That guess is actually still better than um, farming in Muslim unless your party is good and is end game and you have a lot of um I'm sorry a lot of gold loot. Anyway, as you can see, that's pretty much the fastest way to um, get to get access to all of the. Muslim points if you didn't know before or if you're a new player you also get a achievement um, one two three four five get five achievements from doing that anyway that was such a long video thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye